We have a lot of full VFX, uh, a green screen. We have a great deal of partial VFX. Um, and then we have, of course, the aliens, which are, you know, prosthetic and some uh, um, mechanical um, heads. So they're all different challenges. Uh, you know, sometimes we're in an entirely created environment, sometimes partially created, and then sometimes it's the character you're acting with that is not real. Um, they all present challenges in their own way. Uh, my favourite is, uh, is this big sensoths. You know, they have the monkey head, seven feet tall, and our actor Kevin, who plays uh, the sensoth, is seven feet tall. So that's intimidating in itself. Um, there's also a female sensoth, by the way, that turns up in the series. They are something to behold. They're not the most attractive women I've ever met in my life. Um, the green screen is, uh, is, is wonderful for us. It gives us scale and size and epic quality to the show that we wouldn't otherwise be able to achieve at all. So it's essential. Um, acting in green screen is, is a leap of faith. You have to, A, have an idea on what is going to be created behind you and then also trust that it's going to be created behind you. Um, I have a friend who acted in the first green screen movie, uh, Lawnmower Man, and he said that uh, because green screen had never been done before, they were terrified because they were being told all this stuff was going to happen and they had no idea, nobody had ever seen it. Like my alien languages, nobody knew whether it could be achieved or not. It's not too bad now, green screen, because you know what can be achieved and, and we've all seen green screen be executed very, very well. But it's always an enormous leap of faith. Yeah.